First day of the month that the word of the Lord came unto me, right. saying, Son of man, speak unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Now Pharaoh, right, is a damn heathen. Speak unto Pharaoh, the Egyptian, the king of Egypt. And to his multitude, which art thou like in thy greatness. Right, thou in our greatness. He's a big multitude. Read. Behold, the Assyrian was a cedar in Lebanon. You gonna rush right there. Hey, the point of the matter is, literally, jump to verse 10. Ezekiel 31 and 10. Listen to this. Therefore, thou saith the Lord God, because thou hast lifted up thyself in height. Hey, you may lift up yourself in height. I'm a goddess. I'm a queen. You kind of shooting up. Right? The Lord said, you may lift up yourself in heightness. Read. And he has shot up his top among the thick bugs. You may shoot your damn self up thinking you something you're not, sister. Right? You are a princess. We're not saying that you're not royalty. You are royalty. That's what we're here to tell you. Hold on. Let me just talk real fast. Let me just talk real fast, sister. You will have the floor. What we're here to tell you, if you're an Israelite, is that your royalty. You understand? We care about you. We don't want to fight you. We don't want to come back. We don't want to come and do back and forth. We here to let you know that you're a princess. Your royalty. That's right. right. Your rubies, your gold. You're all the things that the Lord told you you are. But our mentality in this world, they may throw upon us, making we think we're something that we're not. Read on. Read on, verse 10. And his heart. Is lifted up in his height. Right, don't let your heart be lifted up in your height. We must go through the words of the Lord, not our own mortal understanding. You understand, read on. I have therefore delivered him into the hand of the mighty, one of the heathen. It said the Lord, if you lift it up too high, he'll deliver you into the hand of the heathen. The heathen, the heathen. The worst. You understand, read right. on. He shall surely deal with him. He shall what? He, he shall, shall surely deal, deal with him. We don't want the Lord to deal with you, put his hand on you, kind of jack you up, man. We want you to repent and come back to the words of life, you know? I have driven him out of, out for his wickedness. And the, we don't want the Lord to drive you out for your wickedness. We want you to repent. We want y'all to understand that y'all Israelites. Right, so this is what my question is, because first and foremost, I respect that y'all standing up here, you know what I'm saying? Speaking about what, what, what is filling your heart, speaking about what's motivating you. So first and foremost, respect and love for that. But this is what my question is. I didn't really, I only stopped because my six-year-old light, this is light and this is love, okay? She wanted to stop and listen to y'all. And I said, well, you know, I've been in Jersey, I've been in New York, I've been, I've been around and I hear this, you know, it's not like I've never witnessed this before, right? My issue is, where is the feminine energy? Up here. That's why I did it. It didn't attract me naturally. I said, okay, my six-year-old want to check it out. Let me let her check it out. But I'm just asking you, you know what I'm saying? As a queen, as your sister, where is the feminine energy up there? Where is the representation? All right. Will you finish, sister? You sure? Yeah, but I want you to answer with your words. I got you. Oh, we can't do that. There's no nobody up here give a damn what I think. That's right. That's right. right. It's right. Me. You may care, I'm but nobody else does. Because I respect care your life. I respect your life you and, we, and the fact that you come got from you, the sister. same tree that I come from. I got you, sister. But check this out. <laughs> you just got your point across. Now we're gonna let the we're gonna let the words of the Lord speak. You understand? Know it's not about what I think, right? What I think is give me put the death. That, that we that we have the ability to evolve beyond this book. Is it a possibility that we have? You gotta listen. I let I'm you talk. Because right I did live under this book a certain amount of time in my life, book. and it evolved me to live beyond. The book. I got you. Sister. Right, I want to touch on your first point before we go to a next point. You understand? Right? We reading out of the Holy Bible. Give me the book of Proverbs, chapter eight and verse two. Sister, you gonna be in order? If you're not, you can leave. I'm dealing with her right now. Right? Proverbs, chapter eight, verse two. This ain't no damn show. This ain't no damn show, man. Bring that up. She standeth on the top of her places. Eight and two. Proverbs. Proverbs eight two. Come, come, bring it up. Proverbs eight two. She standeth in the top of her places, right? By the way, in the places of the past, she crieth at the gates and at the entry of cities. She crieth at the entry of the cities. This is wisdom. She's crying for y'all to listen and be in order. But we can't have 17 different people having 17 different things to say. Then I have to have 17 different answers, but everybody's acting at the same time. The Lord doesn't deal with that. That's confusing, you understand? All right, jump to verse 4. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 4, and it reads, Unto you, O men, I call. What the Lord say? Unto, Unto you, you, O men, I call. The Lord's calling the men to lead the congregation. 
He's not calling the women to raise up and rule and have such have a voice. Hold on, sister, I'm talking. So, sister, I'm trying to break it down for you. You have to have patience. That's what I'm saying. I'm, just I'm trying to deal with you with patience, sister. Sister, you listen. We listen to you already. We let you get your point across. You didn't even let the words of the Lord come out. Read that again. So unto you, you, O men, I call. What the Lord say? Unto you, O men, I call. The Lord is calling the men right. to lead the congregation and have it in order. Give me the book of First Corinthians, chapter fourteen. You understand? And verse number thirty-four. We're not dealing with none of that, man. Give me the book of um, Isaiah, chapter thirty-two, and verse ten. I want that verse first. Right, give me the book of Isaiah chapter 30. Allowing the feminine 10, energy to, to rise to up on the man. planet well, because that's what nature spirits, is. Man. Who are not dealing with these wicked energy. women, man? Bring that out. First Corinthians chapter 14 and verse number 34. Let your woman keep silent. What the Lord say? Let, Let the woman keep silent. What the Lord say? Let the woman keep silent. Let your woman keep silent. That's a lie. 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 Children. Putting a middle finger up. Give me Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 44. We just brought that up, man. That's a great example that sister set for her children with her own understanding and philosophies from the so-called white man. Bring that up. Book of Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 44. Bring it out. Behold, everyone that uses proverbs shall use this proverb so against use this proverb against her, saying, as is the mother. As is the mother. So is her daughter. So is what? So, so is her daughter. daughter. She literally leading a wicked example. Leaving blood everywhere. Wickedness. Philosophies all in her house. Yeah, I'm a goddess. I'm a queen. I got to wear the ump. Or we all come from the tree. And I'm going to mix this philosophy with that philosophy. I'm going to get drunk as hell. And I'm going to get my daughters to drink to the damn cesspool, man. We're not dealing with that, man. At all. We're dealing right. with the words of life, man. Right. We reading out of the Holy Bible. Come. You got two minutes to humble yourself and hear the words of the life without being a damn fool in your wickedness, and you're going to get fed, man. That's right. You're going to get fed abundantly, man. You're going to get fed till the Lord close it up. The Lord may have us out here 72 hours, man. Right. Who are we, man? We don't understand what we're going to do in our next step, man. We love to come out here and teach our people. We have compassion on them, but we're not going to suffer the wicked, man. Right. You know? Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse number 34. Read. Let your woman keep silence. Hey, the women got to keep silence, man. Right. That's playing upon table in the Holy Bible. Right. If you don't like it, take it up with the Lord. Read. Right. In the church. In the church. And right now we have in church. Where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of You know what I'm For it is not permitted unto them to speak. Right. And a lot of our women, they so damn gun ho with the philosophies of this world that they think they're equal to a man, man. We're not coming out here to beat up on the women. We love our sisters, man. Right. We love going into the books about our sisters. We love hearing about the mighty acts, man. Right? How they labor with Paul, man. You understand? Right. How they were mighty. How their names are in the book of life, man. Right. We don't want to beat down our sisters, but we're going to defend the gospel, man. That's right. The book of Philippians, right? Chapter 1 and verse 27. We don't give a damn how you feel about it, man. This is not your pork eating damn pastor, man. We're the servants of the Lord. We're going right. to speak, thus saith the Lord. Bring that up. Book of Philippians, chapter 1 and verse 27. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. Hey, we're not going to speak our own conversation. I want to hear your words. Let's see what you think. Put the book down. we never going to put the book down. That's right! We're gonna that book and we're going to have to go to clean it off our damn hands, man. They're going to have to put us in death in the process. What the Lord say? Come. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. The gospel of Yahweh Shah. That's our conversation. That's it's right. It's not in this world. It's not what you think. It's not in the goddess book. It's not in Henry Hale Jones III and published on the 15th of damn March and a damn November of 1997. We don't care about your publishers. We don't give a damn about that. We care about the words of life. You know? That whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs. Jump to verse 20. Come on, verse 20. According to my earnest expectation, and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed. Ain't nothing we gonna be ashamed of, right? right? She giving us the middle finger like we supposed to be ashamed. Why you speaking to me this way? Why you being like that? Why were you doing this, man? And all we doing is reading you the words of life, man. And you getting mad at that. You want us to be quiet so your philosophy can rule over the word of the Lord, man? And the Lord will put us to death if we did that, man. Right, right. 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 True servants of the Lord if we did that. Right. You know? But that with all boldness. With what? With, with all, all boldness. boldness. Don't be timid. With, with all, all boldness. boldness. With all boldness, no 
matter who's watching, no matter what cameras is on, no matter how old you are, how young you are, how tall you are, how short you are, as always, so now also, Christ shall be magnified in my body. We gotta be magnified in our bodies, man. The Lord wasn't a nice guy. He's not gonna bow down to a philosophy. He's gonna speak very loud. His voice is as the voice of many waters, right? You know? Whether it be by life, by life, or by death, or by what, or, or by, by death. death, or by death, man. Right. You like it, you believe it, you care about it or not, we gonna come out here and we gonna tell you the truth, man. That's right. Right, that you have to repent according to the Bible. Give me right. Mark 1 and 15. That's the whole point why we out here, to get our people to repent. It's like we gotta tie a spiritual damn lasso around their neck and then pull them to the words of life. It's damn like a stubborn donkey in this thing. Give me the book of um, Job chapter 39 and verse number 3. Bring it out, King. Book of Mark chapter 1 and verse 15. Yeah. And say that time is fulfilled. Hey, time is about fulfilled, man. These prophecies kicking off. All hell about to break loose. World War Three is on the rise, man. Right. While you sitting there being slothful, playing games, scoffing against the servant to the Lord, the Lord gonna put you to death, man. The right. time is at hand, you know? And the kingdom of the hour is at hand. Read. Repent ye. And believe the gospel. What the Lord say? Repent, Repent ye and, and believe, believe the gospel. gospel. Put down your cigarettes. Put down your damn blunts, man. That's put right. Put down these wicked women. Put down having church, man. And get them right there Sunday, man. Put down all the wickedness in this world and believe the gospel, man. Now it's time to repent. You ever thought it was any time? Now is the time, man. Right. Now is the exact time to move your feet closer to the Lord and make haste for you get put to death in the land of the living, man. Right. This is not a damn joke or a game. Bring that out, King. Job chapter 39. Verse what? 3. And verse 3. The bow themselves that bring forth their young ones, that cast out their sorrows. Their young ones are, are lucky. Their young ones are in good liking. They grow up with corn. They go forth and return not unto them who have sent unto this well as free. Who has sent out the well as free. Right. Or who have loosed the bands of the wild ass. And who loosed the bands of the wild ass? Our people like wild asses up here. Kind of kicking and straining. <laughs> kind of fighting. Like a damn wild ass in the damn desert, man. Right. We try to tell you, hey, look. Look, you wild ass. Calm down. Right, we're trying, to, we're trying to be gentle, trying to lead you to the waters, right. but all they're doing is kicking and fraying and going back and forth. Who loosed the bounds of the wild ass? Only the Lord can do that. The Lord loosed us mentally from the shackles of this world, man, through the philosophies and doctrines and being locked up in it. The Lord loosed us. Read. Verse number six. Whose house I have made the wilderness. Hey, the Lord said he made a house the wilderness. And the barren land his dwelling. In the barren land his dwelling, man. We don't want to dwell in this nasty desert land, man. No, no. We want to come right. back to the words of life. Right. We want to come back to Jerusalem, man. That's we right. want to be saved. We want to get beamed up, man. We right. care about the Lord, right. right? We don't care about this world. That's right! We loosened our bands off our mind because we was wild asses in the donkey, and he led us to the rivers of life. Read on. Right. And the barren led in, in his and the barren land is dwelling. In the barren land. Look at the barren land right now. It's no fruit, man. It's no grapes. Nothing prospering. It's nothing that life that has in the society, you know? He scorned the multitude of the city. What the Lord say? He, he scorned the, the multitude, multitude of the city. He's going to scorn this whole multitude of this city. Everybody that's scoffing, you understand? That's dancing around, like that's throwing stuff at us, that's cursing us, that's throwing their damn middle finger up while they children are there, man. And right. all we want to do is tell you that you're an Israelite. That's right. right. When did this become a crime? Right. To tell you that you have a Lord, you have a Savior, you can be saved. All you got to do is keep the commandments. Right. It was just a big ass crime, man. What, what is our offenses? You understand? Read. Read none. Uh, and it reads. Neither regardeth he the crying of the drug. Hey, they don't give a care about the crying of this society, man. Right? The Lord will put you to death, you understand? Right. You say crying, you weeping, you mourning, you shucking, you jiving. <laughs> give me the book of Jeremiah, chapter 24 and verse 1. Give me the book of Jeremiah, chapter uh, uh, 15 and verse 5, right? That's what I want. The book, book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah, chapter 15 and verse 5, right? Yeah. For who shall have pity upon thee? Right, who's going to have pity upon you? Come, who's going to have pity upon you? When the servants of the Lord, they stretch forth their hand, they try to bring you back, right? We told you literally that the words of life right here. There's bread, there's honey, there's wine. It's a, literally a furnished table. 
Give me the book of Proverbs, chapter 9 and verse 1. This is a furnace table with life. All you got to do is eat. You know? For who shall have pity upon thee? How you doing, brother? You see yourself in the sun? You be a so-called black man? You be an Israelite according to the Bible. You got to repent and keep your commandments. You got you a couple minutes for the words of life, brother? See, you got the damn Satan whispering in his ear, man. Right, she literally. said, keep walking. She said, keep walking. Right, see that? Say, see, say keep walking, man. Right? And she's in that ear. You, you can't make this up. Right, literally. Right? You can't make this up. But bring that back up. That's why the Lord said exactly. that, man. The Lord is not a man that he should lie. The Lord is a son of man that he should repent. Bring that up. It says, uh, Book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, and verse 5. Right? For who shall have pity upon who thee? Who shall have pity upon thee when a bomb start dropping? Right. right. With them all the men start grabbing up all of these damn women, man. Right? And making them sex slaves. Right? right. Making them carry their bags in Jacob's trouble. Who's going to have pity on you when the Lord destroy your children, man? Or when somebody put you to death in the middle of the night? Right? You was in the truth and then you fell out the truth. Who's going to have pity upon you, read? Oh, Jerusalem. Or who shall bum, uh, bemoan thee? Right. Who's going to bemoan you and cry for you? Right, you know? Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? How thou doest. In the day of trouble, you think the men of the Lord, right, they're going to seek out a bunch of sinners and ask them how thou doest, right? Sir, Follow I, I, me, I'll show you the way. Right, this is the parable of the ten virgins, man. And hey, you say, you say, hey, look, we, we got our oil. What right. about you? We got our knowledge. We got the spirit of Yahweh Shai. What were you doing all this time? We were stretching our head, damn near breaking it, to have you to come back to the words of life. You know? Thou hast forsaken me, saith the Lord. And you forsake the Lord all this time in the land of your captivity. Because you wanted to shuck and jive and play games. Right? Give me the book, right? Of 1 Kings chapter 12 and verse number 31. Right? You got a lot of people they set up wickedness in the society and they trust in vanity. Uh, right? First Kings. First Kings chapter 12 and verse 31. Right? And he made a house of high places. And he made a house of high places. He trusted in all these different gods in the society, you know? And made priests of the lowest of the people. He did what? And he made priests of, of the, the lowest, lowest of, of the, the people. 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 trust in the lowest of the people. Me, the man with his ass hanging out, shoot dice right there. It's a nigga, man. He trusting in the lowest of the people, man. Somebody that don't care. They think beating up women is fun. Right, they think having damn a bunch of damn nations is fun. Right, damn partying all night and taking drugs is fun. And they people they set up the lowest of the people. Read that again. Come, and that's and that's accepted in the society. If you ride dirt bikes, you smoking weed, right, and you have a damn white girl with a blonde head, you cool, man. We don't care about the society and what they teach, man. That's oh, right. We got to come back to the words of life. Come. Bring that back out, Ken. Come, and he made it a house of high places and made priests. Of the lowest of the people. The lowest of the people. Read. Which were not the sons of Levi. What, what, what? Which, Which were, were not, not the sons, sons of, of Levi. Levi. Not people that go against the ordinances of the Lord, man. They don't trust in it. Give me the book of 1 Kings chapter 16 and verse number 5, man. First disobedience is going to have you to get put to death, man. We try to stretch forth our hand and bear along with you, man. Right? The book of 1 Kings chapter 16 and verse 5. Bring it out. Yeah. Now the rest of the acts of, ba of Bashar. Salaki, 13. Verse 13 and Four, verse 14 and verse 5. Salak. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 14 and verse 5. Bring right? it out. And the Lord said unto Ahiah, Behold, the wife of Jeroboam. Right, you see yourself in the sign right here? All right, read on. The wife of Jeroboam cometh to ask a thing of thee right? for her son, for he is sick. Thus and thus shalt thou say so unto her. this wicked man coming to seek a prophet. You think the Lord gonna answer that man in righteousness? Hey, y'all brothers, come in the words of life, man. That's right. Y'all come in the words of life. I gotta go somewhere, bro. I gotta meet my sister, bro. Y'all Israelites, repent and keep the commandments. Y'all kings of this earth, man. Right, right, right. Read that again. And the Lord said unto Ahiah, Behold, the wife of Jeroboam cometh to ask a thing of thee. Right, the Lord told his prophet, hey, you know what? This king is coming to ask a thing of you. Now, this was Jeroboam. He was wicked, man. He set up idols, abominations, you understand? He trusted in vanity. Let's see whether the Lord is going to listen to a sinner, you know? For her son, and he is sick. Thus and thus shalt thou say unto her. And that's just like our people, only calling on the name of the Lord when we need something. Right. Look, my son is sick. Right. Go see this prophet. I right. want to inquire at the Lord then. 
when all hell break loose, everybody's going to stretch forth their hands and the Lord is not going to regard. That's right. Let's get the classic in the book of Proverbs 1 and 20, man. The Lord, they're going to literally be stretching forth their hands and the Lord going to be mocking and laughing, man, at your destruction. All right. right? Hold on. I want that. Right. Proverbs. Okay. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Read. Wisdom cries without. She uttereth her voice in, in the street. Right. Now, who is the voice of wisdom? Right. Give me the book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 10. The servant to the Lord. We're not coming out here speaking our own things. Wow. Come on, come on, hear the words of life, brother. Hear the Bible. All right, I'm talking this way. Why you an Israelite? Repent and keep your mouth. Book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 10. Read. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the power right, of don't God. Don't nobody want to obey the voice of the Lord. Read on. To walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. The servants, the prophets is the voice of the Lord. Give me Luke chapter 10 and verse 16. Bring that back out, John. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 14 and verse number 6. Right. Or verse 5. Uh, continuing on 5. Thus and thus shalt thou say unto her, for it shall be when she cometh in, and that she shall feign herself to be another woman. Right. And it was so, when Ahiah heard the sound of her feet, as she came in at the door, that he said, Come in, thou wife of Jeroboam. Right. Why feignest thou self to be another? Right. Why are you trying to disguise yourself? Right. The Lord see through all of that, you know? For I am sent to thee with heavy tidings. He said, I'm sent with thee of heavy tidings, you know? Go tell Jeroboam, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, for as much as I exalted thee. And the Lord may exalt you in this thing for a second. Right, you may know the precepts for a moment. You understand? The Lord may bless you with a so-called nice job and be able to uh, put food on the table for your children. You may have to have a car. You understand? You have clothing. You have raiment. Right, you have all of the things that you need to survive. The Lord may exalt you for a time. He may have you to know the breakdowns. He may know that you're an Israelite for a season. Read on. For as much as I exalted thee from among the people. From among the people. And made thee prince over my people, right. Israel. Right and rent the kingdom away from the house of David, and gave it thee, and yet thou hast not been as my servant David. Thou hast not been as my servant David. Who kept my commandments. Who did what? Who, who kept, kept my, my commandments. commandments. It wasn't like David, man. So now I'm about to jack you up. I'm about to show you who you serving, man, read on. And who followed me with all his heart. And you gotta follow the Lord with all your heart, man. Right. You can't have stuff in this thing. This is not a part-time job. Say something to do for fun, you know? To do that only which is right in mine eyes, Read. but has done evil above all that were before thee. Read. For thou hast gone and made thee other gods and molten images to provoke me to anger. And that's what our people love to do. They love to read other books, go into other philosophies, trust in vanity and men. Read. And has cast me behind thy back. Me say, I don't care about the Lord. I don't care about those words. I don't care about the commandments. I'm going to walk and do what I want to do. Read. Therefore, behold. Therefore, behold. I will bring evil, evil upon the house of Jeroboam. Read. And will cut off from Jeroboam him that pisseth against the wall. And the Lord cutting off everybody, man. Him that pisseth against the wall. Read. And him that is shut up and left in Israel. Read. And will take away the remnant of the house of Jeroboam. As a man taketh away dumb, mm. till it be all gone. So what? Till, till it, it be all gone. gone. So don't think the Lord will forever save you, forever love you. Like right? the Lord, I know my Jesus. Sweet old Jesus, I know him. Why right? you don't know the Lord, man? Because the Lord will take away everything you have and throw it away like dumb. Right? right? Bring it out, brother. What's going on, brother? You got a question? Uh -huh. Look like you lost, brother. No. Look like you lost, brother. Come on, get some of this minute, word, brother. brother. Oh, I already know about the Israelites. I already know. <laughs> I already know. As a matter of fact, put that camera on me real quick. Real quick, real quick. I'm so diametrically opposed to liberalism. Right, wait, wait, hold on, real quick. No, real quick. brother, no, brother. This ain't that, this ain't, this ain't that, brother. This ain't that, brother. This ain't no damn rap concert, right? This is not that, brother, right? I wasn't going to do a rap concert. It doesn't matter, brother. Right? Because if you want to learn, brother, no, brother. If you want to learn, brother, hey, that's what we're here to do. If, if you damn bending your damn ass out and damn rapping and spitting lyrics, we can't get down with that. Bring that listening to the message. Well, brother, I what's said, the message, brother? I said diametrically opposed to liberalism. Keep sitting on these Democrats' laps like puppets. That's called ventriloquism. Ancient Greek philosopher school of thought, no time for cynicism. But if I told you blacks were the original Hebrew Israelites, you would cry anti-Semitism. 
Brother, where's your Frenches? You all is all is political, <laughs> some analytical. Brother, give me give me the book of First Corinthians, right? Two and verse number five. You, you, you didn't right. even listen to my message. You, 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 you kind of getting brother. super deep, brother. You flipping words in the damn Webster dictionary. Bring that up. <laughs> the book of First Corinthians, chapter two and verse five. Right. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. Right, your faith shouldn't be in the wisdom of men. Okay. You sitting there, you reading Webster all day. Let me see if I can put phlegmaticism and flush the phlegmaticism <laughs> in one rap, and I'm gonna see if I can make it on a beat. Oh right, read on. But in the power of God. But the power of the Lord, brother. We don't have to come out here with strange speech, mm. right? We're sitting there, we got a hat backwards. We don't gotta do that, brother. Come on, brother. Right? It's not in the damn wisdom of this world, you know? <laughs> How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, right? Okay. Yet not the wisdom of this world, Read. nor the princes of this world Read. that come to naught. Right? Mm -hmm. These things in this world that come to naught, right? Okay. We're not down to your rap. If it's a positive message, brother, about the truth, Hey, we love that, man. But right. it's a time and a place that the scriptures say, you know? But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, right? Which none of the princes of the world knew. For had they known it, they would have not have crucified the Lord of glory. Right, you can rest right there. But the point of the matter is, brother, we gotta use plainness of speech. Right, give me the book of 1 Corinthians 9 and verse 16, right? First, First Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 16, right? But though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. It's laid upon us, you understand, you know? Yea, woe Whoa. is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Woe unto us if we don't preach what you need to hear, brother, the gospel. That's right. You be set free, brother, if you come back to the Lord. Jump to verse 19. Verse 19. For though I be free from all men. Are we free from all men? Read. Yet have I made myself servant unto all. Right, because... Paul was literally during the time of the Roman Empire, mm -hmm. but he was a free citizen. You know? Mm -hmm. That I might gain the more. He wants to gain the more, so he made himself a servant for the Israelites' sake. You know? And unto the Jews, I became as a Jew. Right, so a Jew, I became a Jew. I talked they hip talk. I got down with their language. I talked with the elders. Like you read about in Galatians. We understand? Mm -hmm. The third chapter. Read on the second chapter. That I might gain the Jews. That I may gain the Jews and speak that hip talk with them. Read. To them that are under the law. And them that are under the law. As under the law. Read. That I might gain them that are under the law. Read. To them that are without the law. Mm. As without the law, being not without law to God, but under the law to Christ, Read. that I might gain them that are without the law. So we trying to gain brothers that know the truth, brothers that don't know the truth, that's sick, that's shut in. Right? We got to come on a level, brother. Right? You Agreed. understand? Agreed. So if you know you an Israelite, brother, okay. right? Mm -hmm. How do we get the kingdom of heaven? What must we do right now? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Um, How long have you known if you don't mind me asking, brother? About the Israelites? And that you're an Israelite. Uh, let, I'm gonna say 2008. 2008. Yeah, oh, 2008. Because uh, I had read the, uh, I had read the, uh, what's that, what's that book I read? Uh, well, it was on the internet, but I had read it, and I, it, it talked Negro about the Hebrews, Hebrew Negroes. Yeah, it was it was about the it was about the twelve tribes and, the, and we were Judah and you know a, a lot of us well it wasn't really Caucasians in the 1600s. Uh, before that, and then there was, uh, I forgot the guy's name. God damn it. Um, it, was, it was talking about the Edomites and something else. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it was. It was I, I, was, I was reading so much stuff, it was ridiculous. Um, but uh, I'm trying to remember that, that other part I read. But it was, it was informal, definitely. Definitely informal. Like, oh, so what took you so, what's taking you so long, brother, to come back to the words of life? You know certain things you gotta do to receive everlasting life, mm -hmm. right? Agree. Right? So what's taking so long? We wanna see you on this side, brother. Right. Careful. Right? Yeah, we wanna see you get the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, I agree. Right? I agree with that. So how we get the kingdom of heaven? I, I don't know, brother, you feel me. Ah, so, it's a lot. How y'all doing? Y'all see yourself on this side? We gotta see yourself on this side. Give me Mark. Right? Chapter 6 and verse 34. But y'all see yourself out in this time. Y'all be at the top one. So-called black one. So-called African-American. 
It's all right to talk. Would y'all be so-called black men in the man? American black? Yeah. I thought y'all was statues for a minute. I thought y'all was the damn attraction show. Right? Give me the book of Mark, chapter 6. And the book of Mark, chapter 6, verse 35. Right? And when the day uh, was now far spent, his disciples came unto him and said, This is a desert place, and now the time is far past. Send them away, and uh, that they may go into the country round about, right. and into the villages, and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. What verse one? Verse uh, 37. 34. 34. It's a lot. And Shai, when he came out, saw so much. read it as it is written. And Jesus, when he came out. Right, so when our Lord and Savior, he came out. You can hold it down, brother, real fast. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's all right, it's all right. I'm sorry. Right. So when our Lord and Savior, he came out and he seen the many people. Read on. So much people and was moved with compassion. He seen all these people. He was like, dang, man, look at my people. He was moved with compassion. Read. Toward them because they were as sheep. Not having a shepherd. Right, they were like lost sheep running around. Right. One falling in a ditch, the other one falling in water, the other one falling into the hands of the so-called white man, the wolves, right, all in the damn shackles, right? They're just falling around, they don't know which way to go. Right, we don't? And he began to teach them many no, things. No, he just began to just talk stuff. And, and he, he began, began to, to teach, teach them, them many things. things. Man, we about to mm. teach y'all many things. That's you right. Mm. Y'all lost and y'all don't know which way to go. Mm. If y'all think that y'all are black or African-American, we got a lot of waking up to do as a people. That's Agreed. right. Because black Agreed. is just a color, you understand? Agreed. Of your shorts or of your hair, you understand? But the Lord never called us oh, black. Me. Niggas and fools, right? And African-Americans, right? We would be the Israelites who go into the body. Right. God's holy people. Those same people that did all of those miracles, right? The kings of the earth, you understand? The princesses, the generals, the rulers, right? All of the judges and all the disciples and apostles, they look just like me and you, Agreed. literally. So we got to open up our Bible, which is our heritage, go into the words of life to find out who we are according to the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy. Matter of fact, give me the book of Exodus, chapter 19 and verse 5. I got you, brother. I got you, brother. The book of Exodus. Chapter 19, verse 5. Read. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed. If we obey the Lord's voice indeed, right, as the Israelites, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure. Right, we're going to be a peculiar treasure, you know? Unto me, above all people. But the Lord say, mm. above, above all people. And the Lord said, literally, like, if we keep his commandments and his statutes, we're going to be above all people, you know? Read. For all the earth is mine. Right, all the earth is the Lord's. So who is the Lord speaking to, right, in that chapter? Who is he speaking to in the Bible? Who, is, who are his people? You said us. But who are we according to the Bible? God, right? You said what? God. Right, who would be our nationality? Right. According to the Bible, white, black, or no? We're going to show you. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. These be the, uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. All black people. All unto all, all Israel. Israel. All African Americans. Unto, unto all, all Israel. Unto all Israel. Y'all listening, sisters? So who is the Lord speaking to? All who? You asking me questions. I'm going to read it for you. I'm nervous. Don't do that. <laughs> These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. All what? Unto all, all Israel. Israel. All Israel. Mm. So who is the Lord speaking to right now, sister? The Israelites. The Israelites. Let's That's see what pertains to the Israelites. Give me Deuteronomy 28, right? In verse number 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter Matter of fact, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 16. And give me Nehemiah 10 and 29. Right? right. And we're going to show you this. Mm. And in less than three minutes, Lord willing, I do will be the Israelites according to the Bible. Because don't have a long lost heritage that got thrown away in slavery, and we don't know who we are. Right? Bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Bring it up. Yeah. Come. Yeah. Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 29. Right? They claimed to their brethren, their nobles, and entered into a curse. And we entered into a curse. Read on. And into an oath to walk in God's law. We came and claimed unto our brethren and we entered into a covenant to keep the commandments. Read on. Which was given by Moses, the servant of God. So the Lord said we entered into a curse. Mm. Right? Read. Mm. And to observe. And do all the commandments every, of the Lord. Every last one of them. Our God. And his judgments. And his statutes. And we had to do all the commandments. 
Let's see what would happen, right, if we didn't keep the commandments. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 16. Deuteronomy 28 and 16. This would happen if we didn't keep the commandments. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Now, who's cursed in the city, sis, mm. when you look around? Who's broke, strung out on drugs, right? What you say, sister? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Right. right, curse should I be in the city? And curse shall thou be in the field. In the field. They go to the field right there. We was cursed in the field. Pick a tobacco, right, right, sugar cane, right, right, all of these things, right, we was literally cursed and we was working, you understand? Give me verse 41. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse number 41. Right. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. You shall have children as a nation of people. But thou shalt not enjoy them. Read. For they shall go into captivity. Not gonna go to fun land. For they, they shall, shall go, go into, into captivity. captivity. Who went to captivity? Who been a slave? Who been locked up in shackles? Who been beat down? That's talking about us. Who was the Lord speaking to? He's speaking to the Israelites. The Lord said, plain upon tables, that we were being shackled. Right. We were being slaves. Right. right. Son? Give me 48. Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Right. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Right. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger right. and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron. A yoke of iron. Upon thy neck. And so what? Until he have destroyed thee. What are you reading out of, brother? The Holy Bible. The Holy Bible. Right, reading out of the Bible. The Bible says that God's chosen people had yokes of iron upon their necks. They was lost. Agreed. They didn't know who they was. They were captives mm -hmm. from the beginning of the time to now. When you go through all the slavery, you understand, you go through history, that's us. That's us in Egypt that built up the pyramid. Right. You understand? That was us Agreed. during the Greek Empire. You understand? That built up all them damn statues. That was us doing all of these things. We were the slaves, but are we just slaves? We just, we just made to damn work all day yeah. to wear the big old dress and wear the damn little hammock around here. Are you good, bro? Right? Yeah. What are we made to do? We made to rule this earth, you understand? And right. we only came down to this lower state because, wow, we sinned as a nation of people, right? Give me 68. Deuteronomy 28, verse number 68. Check this out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Back into slavery again, because that's what Egypt means. How do we get to uh, this land right now? Right, but what way of transportation? Look behind. Right, that's it out the body. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. With ships. The Lord said, I'm going to put you back into slavery, but this time it's going to be with ships. Who went into slavery with slave ships? What people went to slavery with slave ships? Us. So if the Lord is speaking to the Israelites, who must we be if the Lord is speaking to the Israelites? The Lord speaking to the Israelites, and all of these things happen to the Israelite sisters. Who must we be? We the Israelites. Right. What you say, sister? Oh, that's the yeah. baby. You say what? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we the Israelites. Right? So if somebody came up tomorrow and said, uh, what's your nationality? What you gonna tell them? Asiatic. Asiatic. Yes, ma'am. That's what y'all gonna tell them? Yeah. Where's that in the Bible? I don't go up the Bible. You said you don't go up the Bible? Why not? You say you don't believe in the Bible? So what we just read was a prophecy. No, right? I definitely, I hear you. We understand you fully. Like, it's nothing new to us. Right. We understand it, but that's just not what we believe in. Okay. Can I ask you why you don't believe in the Bible? It's a long conversation I don't got time for. Not right well, now. I mean, not, not gotta, right you now. You know, because why you think that way. Not all the time. If anybody asks me why I believe in the Lord, I will go to the scriptures and I will tell them, right? So why don't y'all believe and our Lord and Savior that came to die for our sins. You understand? That is our God. That's what I'm saying. Right? What you say, sister? Like I mean, the Quran and the Bible go hand in hand. So. You say what? Thank the Quran you. and the Bible go hand in hand. I'm a grew up as a Muslim, so all of this, I know, not saying it's my first time, not my first time hearing it. The same thing. That's the Quran. The Bible, you grew up in the Quran? No, I'm just saying. The Quran and the Bible the same thing. Nah, they well, they know they're not. Yeah, they are. Yeah. If you study a couple of them, in the mind, they read off the same thing over and over and over. No, it's, it's not talking about the same thing. I mean, so can we you show you that system? Me and I'm, gotta, I'm not going to disrespect your religion. That's right. why I'm it's sitting here listening. Oh, 
your way of life. I'm not going to disrespect you. Right, so I'm not going to disrespect your way of life. That's why I came over here because I love hearing y'all speak. Like, that's not the problem. I'm just saying, like, I just don't believe in some things that y'all are saying. Like, as far as us being Israelites. Like, I understand what you're coming from, but I don't believe that we're Israelites. Okay, so why don't you believe that you're Israelites? Right? You, you have to give me give me first Thessalonians 5 and 21. You gotta be able to prove what you're saying. But I can't say I'm a donkey and, and I can't prove it. I can't say I'm a carpet, <laughs> I can't say I'm a ship and I'm just on sale, just walking around, but I'm on sea. I will have to be able to prove whatever it is that I'm saying. Bring that up. The book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 21. Right? Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Alright, so I want you to prove. What you saying, how you don't believe the Bible. What you to prove, prove that it's the same thing as the Quran. What you to prove everything right. that you say. Right. No, I don't have the Quran, but go read right. the Quran. In the mosque, we read. We're in the mosque. Hey, you ever study other religions, though? We don't. We're not studying nothing but no, the words like, of life. I like that. Have you ever really studied other religions? Like, we original Hebrews. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. All I'm saying is, have you studied other religions? Yeah, we have. Like, have you ever really studied other religions? Hold on, says yes. We have read other things so that we can. But have you have you read it with the open mind and the open heart, though? No. Because it doesn't suck with my spirit and it's See, lies. That's, that's it's not the that's truth. What we're saying. Right? That's what I'm saying. So my problem is I'm not going to focus myself on one religion. If I've been enslaved, if my people been enslaved, not just by the white man, but by the Muslims, by the Jews, by everybody. Like, so, so, so I'm not, I'm going back to if we. Alright, I'm not going to hit it. Before you leave. I'm not going to leave. I'm going to keep listening to you. Alright, alright. All praise. But check this out, right? The Lord deals with prophecy. You know what prophecy is? Hey brother, hey brother, hey brother, 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 brother you gotta brother, hold it brother, down. Brother. Sorry, sorry, I'm Y'all gotta get each other numbers or something. Cause right now ain't the time, brother. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, read that again, it's locked. You don't it's locked, it's locked, my point. My point was that the Lord deals with prophecy, right? You know what prophecy means, sister? The Lord's gonna speak on things before they happen. You understand? The Lord speaks things before they happen. So this was written, you understand? In the process of time, the Lord's words came true. That's how we know without a shadow of a doubt that the Lord's words are true. The right. Lord's deals with prophecy. No other book, religion, or way of life deals with prophecy that you could go look up to tell me what's going to happen before it happens. There are things going on in this earth that we could pull up right now in the Bible. There are things, literally, hold on, let me finish this. Thing. Let me finish this. Thing. Right? When I finish, I'm going to let you prove whatever you're going to say. Right? Because we're going to prove what we say. Right? So the Lord's dealing with prophecy. We could pull up right now things that are going on in this earth. And this Bible was written thousands of years ago. No other religion nor book can tell you right, anything that's going to happen before it happens. And everything is literally a recitation and being written over and studied from the Holy Scriptures. Right? Can you give me a scripture saying that something happened? That we, of course we can. Give me the book, right, of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16 and verse number 5. We're going to show you, sister. All right, we're going to pull up all, we're going to, we're going to pull up all this whole thing, sister. Right? The book of 2nd Ezra, right? chapter 16 and verse 5. And Salaki, just, just a side note, we already did when we was bringing it up before you had your own opinion. We literally showed you before it happened that we went into slavery, and that happened 600 years ago, 500 years ago. Bring that up. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 5. Right. Plagues are sent unto you. Right. And what is he that may drive them away? The Lord said plagues are sent unto you, meaning this earth. And who is it that can drive them away? Let's see what these plagues are. Read. May any man drive away in hungry lion Read. in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire in stubble? When it hath gone, begun to burn. When it hath begun to burn. Right, we're living in the last days. And it's beginning to burn all the things that the Lord has said that come in the past. You want to start you know? May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer and that's literally going on in israel and gaza right now those strong archers are missiles you understand and they're shooting right now right in third world countries that's literally going on this was written thousands of years ago read on the mighty lord sendeth the plague he sent up the plagues what would be a plague all these diseases of the earth right COVID, you understand right. all of these different things the damn needle they sticking you with all of these different things the lord is sending upon the earth sicknesses famines diseases pestilences you understand read and who is he that can drive them away and they still trying to drive away all these sicknesses of the earth 
They say they have a damn cure. They say we have the way to go in the doctor's offices. Read on. A fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightning. And who shall not fear? And he shall thunder. And who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten. And who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at, at his presence? Read. The earth quaketh and the foundation thereof. The sea ariseth up with waves from the deep and the waves of it are troubled and the fishes also uh, there are also meaning this world is in an uproar and the lord is having all these things that he's spoken of from old come to pass bring that up give me the book of jeremiah chapter 20 book of matthew 17. chapter 24 and verse 4 start at 7. verse 7 read but nation shall rise against nation now that's written thousands of years ago the Lord said nations shall rise against nations. Aren't the nations rising against each other right now? I'm, I'm not sure. Are the nations rising against each other right now? Of course. Right? And this was written way before that physically happened right now. These nations, they're rising against one another. You know? And kingdom against kingdom. And these different kingdoms, they're going against each other right now. You got the Philistines, the fake Jews. You understand? You got Gaza, everybody else in that so-called Middle East area with the world we call Middle East is in an uproar, you understand? And Jerusalem, our homeland, they fighting over the land, they're confused, they don't know what's going on. That's literally coming to pass. And that's what the Lord doing, he's stirring up all of these spirits, getting ready for World War Three. Give me the book of Revelation, you understand? Bring it up. The 16 and start at 14, you know? Come. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. In earthquakes and diverse places. That's going on right now also. Read on. All these are the beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you. Uh, you can rush right there. Huh. Bring it up. Jeremiah chapter 25 and verse 14. Bring it out. 14, right? 17. Verse 17. And it reads. Then I took the then took I the cup at the Lord's head right. and made all the nations to drink. All the nations to drink. So the Lord's having all these different nations drink of the Lord's wrath right now, right? It's not the whole cup right now, but the Lord is pouring out his fury slowly. He's showing the saints that prophecies are unrolling for the men of understanding to know that we living in the last days. The Bible deals with prophecy. It's not a book you kind of sit there and thou shall not steal, thou shall not kill, and I got my daily bread. It's much more deeper than that, you understand? The Bible is given right to the man in the last days, the elect man, to know what happened on the earth before it happened. The Lord is dealing with his saints, and the, the, the book is a book of prophecy, you know? Unto whom the Lord has sent me. And the Lord sent him, literally like the Lord sent us, to tell y'all to repent, because we living in the last days. Just like the servants of the Lord did from old, we're doing it again right now. Give me Revelation 16 and 14. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 16 and verse 14. Right out. For they are the spirit of devils. The spirits of devils, right? Start at verse 13. Verse 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon. Read. And out of the mouth of the beast. And out of the mouth of the false prophet. And that's going on right now. All of these lies, right, is spreading around the world. Right, everybody getting stirred around for World War Three. All of these different nations coming together. They're warring against one another. You understand? You know? For they are the spirits of devils, right? working miracles, which go forth into the king of the earth, kings of the earth, and of the whole whole world to gather them to the battle. To do what? To, to gather, gather them to, to the, the battle. battle. These different spirits right now are on the earth gathering all of these different nations, stirring up the pot to gather them together for battle. Isn't that happening right now? Literally. Russia doesn't like us, so-called America, you understand? Don't nobody care about us, right? As a nation of people, they want to destroy us. America hates us, right? The so-called Chinese man hates us. Right. And everybody hates Babylon, right? right? This is the modern turn for America. And everybody's getting stirred up, getting ready for war. That's in the Bible, that's in Revelations. The last book is to reveal, you understand, deals with prophecy, you know? To gather them to battle of that great day of God Almighty. Behold.